friend, welcome back to the channel. Y'all have really been loving the very mini minis lately. So this is a tiny little baby session and it's a knee free leg day. We're gonna work through this once together. You can repeat this video as many times as you like. And once you get the sequencing down, you can do this like while you're waiting for your coffee to brew, while you've got something in the microwave, while you're brushing your teeth, if you're particularly acrobatic. Anyways, let's get into this. You're gonna want a chair or something to hold on to. That can be the wall, that can be your kitchen counter. You see the vision, right? I'm gonna set up my chair on the opposite side from my working leg. So I'm gonna start on my right here. I'm leaning into that chair with my left hand. So right leg, left hand, yeah? Leave the left leg free floating. I'm gonna stack up ribs over pelvis. I'm hinging hips back. I'm pressing my right foot down into the floor to stand it on up. Sliding back, pressing down to come up. Your left arm can bear as much weight as you like or very little. It can just be there for balance if you really wanna only focus whoo, on that working leg. I've got a tiny little micro bend in both knees. I'm thinking about plank as my trunk. In this single leg deadlift, deeper is not necessarily better. I want you to think about sending your tailbone back, stretching it over those glutes and squeezing to come up tall. Excellent, my friends. <sighs> sliding back, standing up, sliding back, standing up. We're here for three. Here we go, last one, we're adding on now. We're gonna take a tiny little hinge back. I'm gonna drive this knee up, press the floor away with my standing foot. That was a lot all at once, here we go. Hinge back, press down to come up. Whoo, back and up. It's all about this working leg, so if the coordination with that left leg is throwing you off, forget about it. <laughs> that was a... Uh, Let's keep that one just between you and me. Sometimes we try things and they don't work and that's okay. <laughs> if you prefer, you can tap this back, pressing up into this calf raise. The important thing is here, we're coming into triple extension, hip, knee, ankle, yeah? This is a great prep move for a run too. This is also a great prep move for jumping. If you're like still building up to jumping, Practice rocketing off the floor with power. Awesome, friends. You can keep that knee fully unlocked if you go into that deadlift version. Let's call this the deadlift version, and we'll call the tap back version the little mini squat version. <laughs> All right, wherever you are, we're here for three and two. Last one. Awesome, I'm gonna come back into my single leg deadlift, into my hinge. I'm going to twist my hips open to stack, facing my body towards the support. You can grab on with both hands if you need to. Bring it back to square off. Twisting it open, bringing it, bringing it back. Twisting it open, bringing it back. Woo! Twisting open. Bring it back. Good, we're building rotational strength in that hip. You can imagine what we'd be doing if we were standing up on our resting leg, right? And pushing out and away. Oh, bringing it back in. Now maybe you're in a T, or maybe you wanna take this ooh, at a slightly wider angle. Wherever you are, moving slowly through that whole range of motion, coming back to square every time. If you'd like a little more, you can go past square, coming into more internal rotation and pushing out of there. Whoa. That might be a little easier if you're tilted a little deeper, but again, it's all the same muscles, all the same move. Whoa. Excellent. I'm here for three. And last two. And last one. Oh boy. Bring it in and stand it up, shake it out. How's that glute doing? We're gonna do this on the other side, yeah? Usually I would be like, you can stop here if you like, but we gotta even ourselves out, I'm sorry. 
Sorry about it. Here we go. Other side, I'm setting up left foot down. Right hand is holding on now, leaning into the right for support. We'll start with those single leg deadlifts. Let's do this. Sliding hips back, squeezing glutes, pressing down to stand. At the top here, I want you to get tall. Yeah, it's tempting to want to press our hips forward, but instead I want you to think up, 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 up. Ooh. Nice. Again, these can be shallow, especially if going down and coming up feels like too much. This can be just a little dip. Think about that glute stretching out as you hinge back, contracting and squeezing to stand you up. If you don't mind a little tactile cue, you can poke yourself right in the corner of the seat. Imagine those muscles squeezing. Maybe you'll even feel those muscles squeezing. Oh. Oh. I love single leg deadlifts. I've been teaching single leg deadlifts like basically multiple times a week, every week in classes for four years. They never get any easier. There's always still something to learn. Good, we're gonna add on that calf raise. In three. In two. And last one. Actually, let's just take a second here, pause. Check in with your stack, ribs over hips. Now we go. I'm sliding back. I'm pressing down to come up, push the floor away. Whoa, back. And up, we've got some balance challenge here too. Sliding back, coming up. Whew. Sliding back, coming up. Whew. We're doing lots and lots of reps here. So if your set ends before mine does, or you wanna fast forward to the next move, I couldn't care less. Whew. Whew. Everybody's gonna need a little something different. So if you're like falling all over the place at the end of your set, don't do that. Don't get there. Just stop for a second. <laughs> Let that leg rest and then join me when you're ready. Remember, you've got this little mini tap back option. <sighs> Pressing away from the floor. <sighs> Good. <sighs> if the microwave's going off, you can pause it and then come back to me once you're done with your snack. I'm always microwaving at a mame, which takes like five minutes. <laughs> so by the time I put it in there and then five minutes are up, I've completely forgotten that I was making a snack at all. And then it's like a surprise and I have hot at a mame and I'm so happy. So recommend that if you need a little midday treat. Here we go, last three, <gasps> last two, <sighs> last one, Ooh, find that hinge. Let's airplane, we open it up, oh, we bring it back in. Good. We open it up, stacking the hips, keeping that plank. We bring it back in, nice. Ooh. Take it real, real slow. The aim here is control. You can add on with that internal rotation if you like. If you want more of a challenge. Oh. Awesome, my friends. Can you soften your knees? Can you soften your neck? Can you soften your face? That's always, that's always the one where I get ya. <laughs> Nice, find that plank again. Keep breathing. Last little bit of effort here. We're really toasting this glute on one side. So this might be enough today. Maybe you don't repeat it. Maybe you wait 10 minutes or an hour and then you come back and you do this series again. Just a little movement snack to get you going. Especially good if you've been sitting on your glutes all day, like I have. Here we go, let's go two more. That feels like it'll be a nice round number. We're kind of just going off vibes here. Oops, I shouldn't have told you that. Here we go, last one. 
and let it go. Stand it up, shake it out. Whew. Thanks for being here. Again, you can back this up and do it as many times as you like, or you already did enough today. And I'll see you next time. Enjoy your edamame.